Hey, what is up guys, Seth here, and you know, it's been a while since my last video, and for my 200th video I wanted to give you something really special, something you can sink your teeth into and know that you're getting really great quality. And for me, that's all I want to give you. So, for the 200th video, I want to give you Light Sworn Tier Zero. Now, this deck will win or lose within the first two, maybe three turns. This deck really doesn't go beyond four or five turns. The whole point of the deck is to win as quickly as possible to one turn kill absolutely consistently. And this is why you'll see a few choices that we don't run. I'll explain them as we go and at the end of this um, we're going to get a few replays just so you can see this deck absolutely tooling everything. I've done it on live streams, I've been doing it on uh, Dueling Network, I'm ranked 3 in singles, that means this deck is absolutely great and ranked 3 at the moment is about 1100, 1200 rating but that in the first few days is very good, that means it's winning most of its duels so I'm going to go through the deck list and we'll explain why we don't run certain things and why we run other things so we've got 3 Judgment Dragons, we have 1 Black Luster Soldier, 1 Blaster one Light Ray Diablos, one Tidal, one Tempest. We don't run Redox because it has low attack, so we don't run Redox and it has very few targets, so we just don't run it. We've got Chaos Sorcerer, we've got three Wolf, we've got two Garoth, we have three Dark Winged uh, Dragon Collapse Serpent, which is also called Black Dragon, which is also called Ebony Dragon or whatever it is. So, you know, y you can see it right there that's what the card is. So we've got three Raiden as well, uh, that's the new tuner, and we have two Laylas. We have three Eclipse Wevern, one Felice, which is very new, and she's very good, she's very good, and we have three Lumina. We have three Minerva, two Unknown Synchrons, three Solar Recharges, one Reinforcement of the Army, one Charge of the Light Brigade, and two Tunings. For the extra deck, and this is the important part, we have Leo. Leo's just kind of, I'm testing them out, because if you get a Minerva and a, 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 a Dragon Ruler, then you can use them. So he, he's there to be tested out. You can take them out and put in something else that you find more useful. Personally, I'd like to try and test them out and see how it goes. We have Beals, King of the Dark Dragons, or as I like to know him, the Dark Dragon Ruler. So he is definitely the Dark Dragon Ruler and he can't be destroyed by battle or by card effects and if you take battle damage or uh, card effect damage he gains attack equal to the damage you took. So he's an amazing card. He's an amazing card and in mirror matches he cannot be stopped unless they get a Black Luster Soldier or some kind of, uh, or the next card, the Light Sworn Arc, the uh, Michael Light Sworn Arc. He, he can be stopped by that, but nothing else. We've got the Jeweled Red Dragon Archfiend, the Crimson Blader, the Colossal Fighter, the Stardust, uh, you know, Radiance, Shining, Spark Dragon, whatever you want to call them. We've got the Ark as mentioned. We have the Black Rose Dragon, of course. We have the Mecha Phantom Beast Drago Sack. I don't like running Big Eye, but the reason that I'm running Big Eye at the moment is because everybody else wants to run Big Eye. So, Mermails at the moment are just rank 7 spamming. If you want to see a deck that is just playing exactly like Dragon Rulers did last format, Mermails are that deck and that's why I don't like Mermails and I will not, you know, I will not play Mermails at the moment. You could play rank 4 spam, you can take out all your Megalos or quite a lot of your Megalos and not focus so much on the rank 7s but you don't so I won't be featuring Mer Mermails at all until they get, you know, a hit in uh, March and this deck will be hit as well in March I guarantee it so this this is for the January 2014 to uh, March 2014 format because I know they'll get hit in March um, we've got Silent Honors Arc Knight of course you run this card we have um, um, we have Evil Swarm Knight uh, Exciting Knight I'm gonna uh, he's the Exciting Knight I'm calling him Exciting Knight you know which one I'm talking about he is your extra Black Rose Dragon your extra Judgment Dragon if you can't let's say you start with Black Black Dragon and Raiden therefore you in instantly have an access to that card and he can just destroy an entire field an entire field of Necro Valleys of whatever 
you know, if you can get two level fours to the field, you get your card. And that can be Wolf as well. So he's he's that good and he deserves to be run. Maystroke is more defensive. You see, if you put her in def into defense position, Silent Honor's Art Knight is not going to destroy her. Judgment Dragon is going to have to use three uh, destruction effects to destroy her. She's got quite a lot of destruction protection for a rank four. And this leads us on to the next one. Engineer. Engineer for a mirror match is very necessary. The only way a mirror match will get him off the field is if they use Black Luster Soldier or they start using rank 7 spams uh, of Big Eye or they have one other option which is Light Sworn Arc. That is really all they can do. If they can't get one of those two out, they can't do the Engineer. They can't get rid of Engineer. Judgment Dragon won't do anything to it so you'll get your stall and then you can just come back next turn and destroy him, absolutely obliterate him. Now, there's a couple of things we don't run, and I'll go through that. Monster Reincarnation, we do not run. Monster Reincarnation, right here, Reincarnation, is a card that allows you to discard one card, to select a monster card in your graveyard, and add it to your hand. People say this is very necessary to get Judgment Dragons back to your hand, or BLS, or whatever. I say there is no reason to be going neg one in this deck. If you're running Monster Reincarnation, you are a bad player. If you have to neg one in order to get your Judgment Dragon, which may not go even go off, and may get stopped right where it started, you just went neg one for absolutely no reason. Now, when it does go off, you guys will say something like, oh, well, if a Judgment Dragon makes my opponent go minus five, then it's worth it. No, you went neg one. It is never worth to go neg one. It is absolutely never worth it. So do not run Monster Reincarnation because it is a bad, bad card. On top of that, we have another card that is just... I don't know why people are running it, but they are. Necrogarna. Necrogarna, right here, is the Dark uh, Warrior and he banishes himself to negate an attack from your uh, opponent controls and all that crap. Now. The reason he gets run is for BLS and for Chaos Sorcerer, but we only run two. We're not running two Chaos Sorcerer because it gets cloggy. We don't want to run too many darks because we want to hit our Light Swarns. We want to hit our Light Swarns and we want to hit our Eclipse Weverns. We want to mill those to the grave. We don't want to mill Necro Gardeners. It's too defensive. We don't want to do that. If we can't one turn kill as soon as possible, we lose. Light Swarn the more time you give your opponent, the more time he has to to react to you. And Necrogarna is one of those cards you shouldn't be running because Medolce. Easy as that. Medolce and Firefist have Cardinal Commander. So the, for every Gardener you hit, it's probably going to get banished right back to your deck anyway. Now you could banish it whenever you want and you know negate your next attack the opponent's next attack but then he could attack you with a 500 attack monster and you've just negated it for nothing so the point of this is don't run Necrogarna it is a bad card it is really so much of a bad card and beckoning light on that note is um, another card we don't run because it's just it's no there's no reason for it if you can't get the cards you want into your hand to create consistency and you're milling out your judgment dragons just accept that you're milling out your judgment dragons and play a different way we have so much cards here to use you know black rose dragon to use arc we've got luminous for that we've got the we've got the blasters we've got the tidals we've got all these dragons to be used and if we can't hit an eclipse weaver and let's say we mill out judgment dragons all three judgment dragons at once right from the start we've still got diablos we've still got black luster soldier we've still got chaos sorcerer if you mill out every single one of those you just accept your loss except that DN or Defro or you know life has just given you a really shitty draw and therefore it's time to just accept that it's time to accept that you're gonna lose no matter what when you're lux like that you just gotta accept your loss and that's all I'm saying you don't need to be running neck regards you don't need to ru be running reincarnations and you don't need to be running beckoning lights the other thing we should mention is honest why don't we run honest and I'm being very informative here Honest is a card for when your opponent attacks you 
or when he um, has monsters on the field. Now, why would he have monsters on the field if you're using Judgment Dragons? You know, if you're spamming Judgment Dragon and paying the thousand life point cost, why would he have anything on the field for you to be worried about and honest? But why would it matter? Now, he you may argue that he might have a Beals, but then you're not going to destroy it anyway. So let's be honest about that. When it comes to honest, it's just it's too defensive of a card in this situation. You want to destroy everything off the field. You want to get everything off the field. You've got Evil Swarm for it. You've got Black Rose Dragons for it. You've got Judgment Dragons for it. You've got these you've got these, you've got your dragon rulers for your Draco sacks, you've got everything you need to clear a field so you don't need to be running honest. Guys, I'm gonna just cut away and we'll be moving on to, you know, the duels here and um you know hopefully we'll get a good couple of replays. I've not recorded them yet so we'll do that. As ever, comment, like and subscribe and enjoy the rest of the video.